Did you notice that after you broke up with your crazy ex, suddenly all the people on the street seem to have his or her name? Or that one time when you desperately wanted a cat, and all of a sudden there were cats everywhere? Or so it seemed to you. No, you're not turning into the crazy cat lady, and not all people on the planet have your ex's name. This phenomenon can be explained by the law of attraction. What is that, you may wonder? Well, we're about to find out more. In a nutshell, the law of attraction is best summed up by the proverb, you reap what you sow. In other words, anything that you put out into the universe around you, in terms of actions and thoughts, will come back to you in the same manner. The term law of attraction comes from what is called the new thought philosophy, and it represents the belief that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences into a person's life. This belief is rooted in the idea that the universe is made up of energies, and a person's thoughts are made of pure energy. Consequently, the kind of energy that we manifest in our thoughts, positive or negative, is the kind of energy which the universe will react to, and such experiences will occur in our lives. There is very little scientific evidence that supports this claim, and so, the law of attraction has been deemed a pseudoscientific concept. That is, a statement that claims to be both scientific and factual, but is incompatible with the scientific method. On the other hand, the law can be somewhat proved by a part of our nervous system. In the human brain, there is a place called the reticular activating system, or RAS, which is responsible for our sleep and awake states. This system acts as a filter for information. Now, we know that human beings are subjective, and each one of us is the center of our own reality. That is why, when the brain filters the information using RAS, it selects what is most relevant for us. For example, if you're in a busy place, you will instantly focus your attention to a person calling your name, or to your crush sitting at a near table. This is how the law of attraction is explained biologically. We attract what we think because that is what our brain focuses on. In the same way, we cannot deny the power of our thoughts over the shape of our reality. If you are what you eat, you certainly become what you think as well. Unfortunately, for the enthusiasts of this law, thoughts on their own cannot completely reshape or change reality. The best thing that the law of attraction can offer to someone, whichever explanation you believe to be true, is an opportunity to obtain what you desire. If you only think and think and think about the house of your dreams, or that college degree, or that cat, but do nothing to build, obtain, or adopt one, there is nothing more the law can do for you. Indeed, the law of attraction can provide us with some unique and valuable opportunities, whether because of pure energies or of our sense of observation, but it takes action for them to materialize into the things we have always dreamed of. Well, of course, it will not be easy. As the famous line says, nothing worth having is ever easy. But if what you think of is what you truly desire, then the law of attraction will only be the push that you need to start walking the necessary path. Yet, it will be your effort and actions that will lead you to your heart's desire. So, until we see you next time, what is it that you truly want?